even best on the pie. Actually, liquor. You don't know handbags. <laughs> <laughs> Come back! You are walking crazy. This is not a joke. Hi guys, we're back. Did you miss us? Everything go from Maria. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another travel vlog. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Amen. Today we are in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. As always, whenever I go on a brand trip or have like a special opportunity, I just want to take the time to thank you guys. Thank you so much for always supporting me. All the traction from my travel vlogs are bringing me these opportunities and it's only because you guys engage and watch my content. So Frontier Airlines hit your girl up about two, maybe two to three months ago and they were like, oh, we think you'd be perfect for this brand trip opportunity and they're partnering with puerto rico to promote tourism here and i read the email and i was like yes i would definitely love to be a part of that and that is why we are here today and i also asked can i bring a plus one so we have a special guest in today's vlog <laughs> we have my lovely friend by cat here most of you probably know her already she has an instagram channel and a tiktok that's really really popping so i was like are you gonna be free she was like yeah and she loves to travel so i knew she would be down that's why you see angry and by cat everywhere like this place <laughs> so cute beautiful they outdid themselves they really outdid themselves like i don't i wasn't really expecting much like i thought this was a hotel when i looked it up i thought it was a hotel it's a resort we are in a whole villa and tomorrow we'll get to see like our own like private pool out there and stuff but we just landed and we have a dinner to get to at nine i think it's like, 8 30 we have 30 minutes to get but guys oh my gosh this place like they asked us for our favorite snacks and stuff and what we like to read but like i was not expecting this like we have towels the bags there's literally like four shades of sunglasses the bathroom has eye patches like everything they gave us portable speakers shoes. and shoes the shoes took me out i have so much to explain to you guys but this vlog like i am so excited to have fun like we have a four or five day itinerary Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yes. Thursday, and we leave Friday. Yeah, and like today is just dinner, but like so excited to be here. We're gonna go ahead and freshen up and go to dinner. Thank you so much to Frontier Airlines and Discover Puerto Rico for bringing us out here, and let's go ahead and have a blast. All right, we just got ready so fast. I wanna drink this ginger ale. Cute little dress moment. I'm gonna go get on the golf cart.
ever had in my life. The moonshine. The moonshine? No, I didn't have it. Ah, what? Why would I have two? I took yours and gave it to them. Rainforest Adventure Park. Good morning, welcome back. It's like 8.45 a.m. and you can hear like a lot of noise in the background because we are at the Rainforest Adventure Park today. So prior to the trip, we had to pick between ATVs and horseback riding. So I wanted us to do the most adventurous thing possible. I mean, ATVs are really fun, but I love horses. So I was like, if I get, we need to do horseback riding. They gave us the option of horseback riding on the beach versus horseback riding in the forest. And of course, I picked the forest. I wanted to put bike at through an adventure. So that's where we are today. <laughs> Hi guys. She's going to ride horses in the forest. <laughs> oh, that one is so pretty. We got this one. I'm scared. <laughs> she's Stop been me. she's been on a horse before, guys. I don't know why she's acting like this. Ah! What? <laughs> I don't know if this is the um, activity for Fike. <laughs> the first group went already because they are going horseback riding on the beach, but I chose the rainforest for us, so we had to wait behind. <laughs> we have to wait behind for the next group to get saddled up, so we're still here. We've been on the horse, I feel like, for like 20 minutes, right? Oh. Yeah. I was actually able to pull out my camera, guys. This he's is happy. super on a mission. relaxing. And he's a young baby. For yeah. now. <laughs> I love horses he's a, he's so a baby. much. He's like young. Like, oh. Where are you guys from? We have a relationship already. There's the rest of the group. Go back. No, this sun is actually hot. <laughs> That's what you want us to do in space. This day in my life is about to be so funny. They stopped us um, really quickly so we can do some pictures. <laughs> Look at this view guys and then there's my cat just blocking everything. No, it looks so good. Guys, I finally feel like I'm on vacation now. Like this morning when I woke up, I feel like it hit me when I looked. Yay! But now I finally feel like I'm on vacation. He loves being in the front. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I guess I'll talk to you later. Get out of my face. Thank you. Whoa. Why do I look like a hiker? This? is literally the most refreshing thing ever i got the mango flavor and it is so yummy the sun is different out here i'm actually about to put my helmet on because it was protecting my face from the sun but we made sure to put on sunscreen before like you guys saw but it's so beautiful out here i'm kind of really glad that we chose to do the forest instead of the beach the beach would have been really really pretty but i don't know the forest is just something just something different Welcome 
welcome back we are back at the hotel right now they did have a lunch plan but they decided to just let everyone have like some break time until 4 15 so we got back at like 12 and i feel like that was a really good idea because we got up so early this morning because our call time was eight so we decided well i decided we should come to the pool and i dragged her <laughs> Me? <laughs> she wanted to nap, but I was like, you might as well come and nap like at the beach. We are on vacation to be on vacation in the sun, be near the water. <laughs> so she's gonna nap in the cabana for a rest, I guess. And I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna edit some content and try and take some pictures. And I got a virgin cocktail, a mango. I, I think I'm obsessed with mango. I just spilled it. The life of a clumsy woman. Good. I should have actually got some alcohol in it. Should I ask for some alcohol in it? I might take no, I will drink when we're going to the kayak because we have some rum in the room. I think because it's only two now. I'm not like a great drinker in the sense that like I can I'm trying to take like out of my vocabulary. In the sense that I can start drinking at 2 p.m drink till four cut it off and then come back again and drink at eight no i like to just keep going and i feel like when i drink i drink to feel something so yeah i'm gonna wait i'm gonna chill i'm twisted twisted tea okay so we're back in the room me and my cat just got done taking a nap we're about to head to our next excursion but i'm gonna tell you guys all about that when we get in the car i'm actually about to take the quickest shot of rum because i need to spice up this vacay my cat won't be joining me. She does not drink. But we're actually on time. It's 4.12 and we have to be at the lobby at 4.15. We're late. We're late. To, how are we not on time? Lying to that. No. Okay, well, the, the, the car is going to take us there in two minutes. Should I just put this in a water bottle? That's too much. It's wrong. Hey, it's not going to go back in. Okay, cheers. Twisted, twisted tea. No, I'm just placing this so when we take our pictures. Oh, this is actually liquor. Twisted tea for real. Okay, let's be going, let's be guided. So we're in the lobby right now. We're getting ready to go to the bioluminescent bay. So we actually have to kayak to where we're supposed to go. Basically, it's supposed to like glow in the dark. So right now it's 423 I don't know how long the drive is gonna be but we're gonna be kayaking in the dark because it has to be dark for you to see it so I'm kind of like a little bit nervous uh, the outfit let me show you guys the outfit swimwear I'm gonna cover up and then these sandals I wish I had like more so water shoes but that wasn't gonna go with my outfit anyways so I don't think I would have put it on anyway <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm not gonna take my camera. If we have the option to leave stuff on the bus, I will take my fanny, fanny pack and only bring my phone just because my camera and the water, like I don't wanna play around with it. Like I already took it to the forest and I feel like that was enough. So I will see you guys um, when it's time to start kayaking. Marka, did I ask you to do that? <laughs> This was one of the scariest and most adventurous things I've ever done in my life because it started raining about half the people went back home But you see me I put on a poncho two of them in fact and was like I'm going over there So what we all didn't realize before coming here was that you have to kayak to get to the bioluminescent bay and be able to see it And it is a three mile journey while our tour guide was giving our safety instructions the rest of our group left So me and one other couple from our group decided to say I kid you not I was scared out of my mind because he was really psyching everyone out he But I didn't come all the way out here for nothing So I decided I was gonna do it for the plot and I kid you not, I was so scared because I was in a kayak alone. So I left my phone behind because I felt like it was gonna get drenched, but honestly, I could have brought it because I had a life jacket on the ponchos. I would rate this experience an 11 out of 10. Kayaking alone in the pitch black darkness was definitely a workout, but getting to that bay at the end made everything worth it. I've never seen the stars as clear as I did that day. And look, I made it out just fine. What's that one in the middle? <laughs> we are showered we are back home all i can say was wow that was one of the most interesting experiences i've ever had in my life 
So let's rewind for a second and let me tell you why there's no footage of the bioluminescent bay. On our way from the resort, like literally before we could even like get outside of the gates of the resort, it was already sprinkling. So when we got there, it was fine. We're signing our waivers and some people are thinking like, uh, I don't know if I should go. The bioluminescent bay is supposed to be like water where if you like run your hands through, you can see like it light up because there's living organisms in it that glow. Bioluminescent lagoons in Puerto Rico are a phenomenon of nature where living organisms called dinoflagellates produce a special enzyme that glows in the dark when disturbed. And then all of a sudden it just started downpouring like super, super hard. And people were like, uh, I don't really know if it's safe. It's gonna be dark when we kayaking in the rain and the downpour. I was gonna say half the group left. No, like 95% of the group left. It was me and three other people that decided to stay. And I was like, the only thing I was concerned about was my phone. I was only thinking about the content for you guys. But I was like, no, I'm up for the adventure. But you guys saw me take that like shot of rum. So I had the rest like on the way, but it was like a 30 minute drive. I kid you not, as soon as it started pouring and we were like under the shelter thing I showed you guys, I sobered up fast because he was like, yeah, in case people flip over, da 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 da, know how to do this, this. I said, let me pay attention because I'm about to be doing this in the dark. I think like his speech kind of like scared everyone because they want to tell you about the worst case scenario. Please, so I wore two ponchos and I got a life jacket and I was like, I'm doing it. And so mind you, I'm going, Vika is not. So I'm in a kayak all by myself and I'm thinking like am I gonna have the strength to do this because before we left they said it was gonna be a three mile journey so one and a half miles there one and a half miles back but in my head I'm like when Google Maps is like oh 0.4 miles away it's like what a 10 15 minute walk and maybe like what a 10 minute kayak but the one and a half miles was like a 20 minute kayak but I just kid you not if I didn't work out I don't know if I would be able to do it like the arm strength it took was a lot but I was really moving and I actually feel like it was a benefit to go alone because when you go alone you have more control over the kayak because you're not trying to coordinate with another person but it was just such a great experience it wasn't as dark when we started the sun was setting but by the time we got to the bay it was dark but it wasn't as pitch black as I was expecting because like the light from the stars so like the whole time kayaking I was just taking it in taking in the nature I was like this is so cool when we got out there I don't think I've ever really looked at the stars the way I looked at the stars today like I was just in awe and it like the whole experience just made me realize that I want to do more adventurous things maybe not that include heights okay maybe camping might not be so bad like people always say like under the stars this under the stars that and it was really cool like just like looking up and just seeing all the stars because I do realize like when you're in the city you don't really see that because of all the lights like the clouds and all that kind of stuff so when we were just out in the open it was so cool like I really wish I had my camera, my phone, something to show you guys. But it was such a great experience. Like, I'm so glad I went. Like, even if it was raining, I would have pushed through. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but, like, I did sports, like, all my life since. I was in grade school, did basketball, I did volleyball, I did cheerleading. In college, I ran track, I played basketball. I mean, not college, oh, that's another level. In high school, I ran track, I played basketball, I did cross country, I was in dancing. Like, I'm really athletic, so like, I feel like I can like push through things. So that's like, I use the discipline that I take in the gym. I'm like, oh, I have to keep going, I have to keep going. Cause mind you, you can't really stop your kayak because you're kayaking in a whole row so like if you stop the people behind you are gonna stop you might crash you might start like a crash kid you i'm gonna be sore tomorrow like i just know like i'm fine now but even during it was hurting but i had to keep going so, but guys like i had like a really great experience and even though i couldn't record it i still got to like take it in for myself my own eyes and i highly recommend like even if you don't come and do it in puerto rico and do like the violent bioluminescent bay like try like a kayak experience in your life like on a trail like it was just so adventurous especially because it was dark too and i'm like a really like a scaredy cat so i'm really surprised that like, i pushed no, through scary. and i was For like that that. <laughs> i don't know if it was the rum that was like yeah i'm gonna go um so we met the group back at the dinner spot because the dinner spot was like two minutes away from like the kayak place and i was like oh do you guys have dessert and she listed them she said tres leches and i only know that what that is because Fire Cat was going crazy about it yesterday. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll try it. But I was weary of it because it has so much dairy and milk. But I kid you not, when I put the spoon in my mouth, I almost fainted. I almost dropped to the ground. It was so sweet. It was so creamy. Like, the milk is scaring me. I still have the rest over there. I'm about to eat the rest of my tacos. That and then do some work because I think it's like 10.30 maybe. 
am gonna try and go to bed by 11.30 because we have a 7.30 a.m. call time for our boat day, which is insane. From now on, if you come to an island, at this point, you need to bring a waterproof, waterproof phone case and like a poncho or a rain jacket because you never know. It's right, guys. Just wanna tell you guys about my experience. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I said and I'll see you guys in the morning at 7 a.m. <laughs> Bye, guys. later <laughs> You don't want to end up stepping on something or breaking something down. Baitable for fun activities, we're going to throw out the mat. We're going to have the kayaks and the paddle boards, which it wasn't supposed to be planned, but we like to go out and make it more fun, okay? And also, we're going to put some beer bottles and things to play out there if you guys want, okay? Our guys are going to be back and forth with drinks. Nunch is going to be out like around 11 30, okay? It is a buffet style nunch. So stay in that area, don't go too deep out there. If you pass the circle formation that we have from the island, eventually the current will take you where I'm from, to Cuba. And if you don't have the paperwork, <laughs> it's going to be a horrible day. What's the name of this place again? Culebrita. Our main island was going to be Culebra. This is a smaller island next to it. It's called Culebrita. It is a beautiful beach, but this is private. Let's just make the moment. Okay? Thank you. The way me and Fika just woke up from the biggest bout of motion sickness ever, I've never experienced that in my life. Like, y'all, we were literally sitting up here, heads down. They had to give us Sprite. They gave us this non-motion sickness medicine. But we made it to the island, and it's so beautiful. Cheers. Did you tell them what happened to us? Yeah. <laughs> Baby, you what? <laughs> <laughs> Such a Nigerian baby. For me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like in general. I think so many people that don't drink and like a lot of my friends don't put stuff around me. There's so many things you say to this song. Not only do the chitty, but like she was suicidal. The beat is crazy. <laughs> Um, guys, they have a slide, and I didn't know there was a slide here. Let's see if we get on it. Two seconds later. You're gonna lose your hat. Okay, no, so para, para, para. 
What have I signed up for? <laughs> we are playing Afro Beat today. Can I get your number? Let's go to view of the camera. <laughs> yeah, I've been kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going down the oh, are you taking me? <laughs> oh, roll, roll the butts. So we're out in the middle. <laughs> Why did you look like that? We're out in the middle of the ocean with me as our pilot of the kayak. How you feel? <laughs> I'm scared. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I my phone. Okay, don't lean, don't lean. Yay! Yeah. Hey. Mm, so you found your crush here. This is what you came here to do. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Woo! <laughs> the back of the hat. That's like true. <laughs> I, an icon. She's an icon. She is the moment. Simpro, Simpro. I come out though I have to wash my eyes. I wanna jump in but my contacts so I have to well let me get a bottle of water. Let me know when you're starting. Okay let's do zero for five. Um, should I do a backflip? No I don't know how to do that. <laughs> don't do something you don't know. Okay one two three go. <laughs> When I walk out the team, they gon' follow. Get you on the Stay like that. Angry. Turn. Do what you were doing. <laughs> when you were drinking the water. <laughs> Never mind. Come back. I love you. I want to be my
um, oh, is my weed backwards? Click it, click it. Okay, my camera's dying. I gave me your other battery. It's on the bus. And the bus just went. Let me see the bus. Bye, cat. So, where are we right now? I'll get to stay. Puerto Rico. Si, 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 mami, si. Yo me sé de ti, de gama, la vida, yo. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side Oh why? Sätt ett du rör på det får mig och dör för det baby För de här jadis jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger all min tid och Jag vill ha dig, ha dig Du får mig tjäna safety Ni kan nog le dig baby Och jag kommer aldrig ändra mig golfing today instead of getting like the spa massages because I just want us to have the most adventurous time possible um yesterday was really really fun it was so much fun like I feel like I did everything we did kayaking I got on the paddleboard I jumped in I got on the slide like a lot of adventurous stuff that I was actually really surprised by and I got some really really great pictures so that was so fun but we were so tired after like I could do not I almost fell asleep at dinner we then we just came home showered and got into bed because we had to be up early today for golfing and I'm super excited so I will see you guys when we get on the golf course They just let you go. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like, I don't, I don't know, at least someone to show us. They just give you the golf cart and the clubs. You have to buy your own balls and then you're out. Guys, why did I just drop my camera on the way? Hi! You wanna play the international course? Well, we wanted to just try number one first. Is this uh, one? The DN office uh, from the back over there. Huh? You haven't said it. Where it starts, it starts over there. Can you show us? What a tea box is apparently this is a tea we don't know anything you're gonna be seeing the little sign this is only the hole number one you're gonna be doing a nice uh, trip over there we bought a refurbished pack of balls this is what i was saying this is what it comes like <laughs> yo we're in distress from there let me show you guys how far the end of the hole is this is real gold how you had it in your bag that's not even it oh my gosh it's even further i can't even zoom anymore that yellow flag in the distance that's it no like this is a really really serious game this is not a joke that's one of the reasons things go anywhere like the ball can hit you and you can literally faint <laughs> from it <laughs> that's what i'm saying Absolutely ridiculous. Give you guys our first experience after hitting, doing our first hole. Well, our first week, because we're not even done with the hole. We only hit it once. <laughs> it's enough for the week. She did so bad. First of all, she took up the grass and I saw dirt <laughs> fly everywhere. Mine was a bad hit as well, but I just didn't get enough height. Like, it went a little bit. I'm sad. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? The ball. Ah, you see? I told you you should. Oh. I'm going to my own room. The fact that you can actually walk to your ball, you're picking it still right. Did you walk to your own ball? I'm gonna go halfway. Why are you going now? Ah! Because I don't know who sent you to me. Because Where I have to get ball? to my knees. Yeah, but you're supposed to Hi. wait for me to hit it first. Um, yeah, we're trying. Yeah. This, this is our first time doing golf. Alright. What if someone's coming by? Oh, you just stay? They'll go around. Oh, okay, okay. All right. 
I'm going to hit my next wall. We have to make it all the way to down there. Oh my god. We will at least do one now. <laughs> the way it's hot. We're going to finish one hole and go back to the room. <laughs> Wait, after we go to the international one. Make sure you don't cheat. Next time, don't move. You whip with the bridge. <laughs> Madame, okay. I don't know. I'm I was just trying to drive to mine. Drinking water. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> now why we put your phone in? You were doing so many things today. <laughs> no, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> what's so bad about it? Because it's windy. It's gonna push your phone I was away. See. <sighs> After <laughs> one swing. <laughs> guys well um i'm now on my way to the pool golfing it was golfing i spent like what 30 40 minutes at that first hole where's cabana one 16 15 exactly anyways yeah so we're at the pool right now we're all done with golfing we definitely should have picked the spa but i feel like it was a unique experience i've never done that before i would definitely do it again but with someone who knows what they're doing we only did the first hole and then we basically like traveled around to go like see the rest of the course which is really pretty now i'm here at the pool because they had the cabanas booked from 11 a.m to 3 p.m our golf time was 9 30 and then the spa was from like 10 to 12 so like i think people came here afterwards i had to go back upstairs and like edit some pictures and content for jbw and post one of my tiktok so i'm gonna be down here for like an hour then go back up and like start getting ready for dinner because we have to meet in the lobby at 6 p.m so let's go have another cool day but i can get what i want too much pressure too much pleasure but not much to rely on your love ain't free it's killing me i want it to end oh Ah, that's so handy. Oh, this is some of the best beer I've had. It definitely still tastes like beer, but I can taste the tropical of it. We are off right now to dinner. This is the outfit. I'll show you guys a better view probably at dinner, but our golf cart is downstairs. You probably can't even hear me because of the air conditioning. So I'll see you guys when we get to the lobby.
always happens to me but I always end up matching a bathroom, a venue somehow. Like this is insane. Mandatory bathroom break and I have something to tell you guys. All the servers are so handsome. When he asked me what my order was, I looked behind me and said, I had to do a double take. I'm trying to look around so I could like film some more for you guys. Another one, another one, another one. And they all have such great hair. I'm just like, wow. Anyways, I do really need to use the bathroom, but this is insane. How do I match the bathroom right now? to learn that one. Actually, the only beach where you can go for a dip or swimming, you know, any time of the year. We are able to get down from the bus right now. We're taking a stop at the beach. It's so pretty. Uh, uh, this is going on the internet. Hi guys, my name is Faikat and how old am I? I'm 25. I'm from Nigeria. You're not from Nigeria, you're from Ivory Coast. I'm not from Ivory Coast. I was just raised there. Raised what? I was just raised there. Raised her. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad I got that my phone. Ah, Fika, they use their fingers. You have to go figure, go home. <laughs> this one is gonna look so bush. <laughs> wow, you really knocked your heart out the park. <laughs> I can't believe you did this with your shoes.
anything. I just, I wanna go home. <laughs> How did my apples drop? So I just gone. Oh, I can see, but how do I get Guys, it? I need bug spray. Here, and the uh, It's hot. Actually, the Dos Palmas is the name of this uh, You're not the meat uh, yet. Okay. Actually, because of the two <laughs> palms, <laughs> is there right there, right? <laughs> By the way, this building is all made of pure marble. Fifteenth century. Is that a cruise? This used to be a hallway. It didn't have a roof. Or you can be at home. Later, it became a room uh, for one of the servants. So they put a roof 
There's too much to take videos of. So when she opened her plate, I have to eat this. Bongo. That means smash green plantains. When you read B Bongo, that means smash green and yellow plantains. Like like you That's why I like that one better. When you read three bongo, T R I, three things, that means Green plantains, yellow plantains, and yuca or cassava. Oh, a tuber. I hope that you have enjoyed yourself. I don't have to be in video. It's not necessary with this view. <laughs> <laughs> the experience is what's important. Maybe if you see me at night, I'll give me a picture of her. The women try to dry up that's because you're a dry baby. Mm -hmm. Say the one that looks at the grandma is boring. Grandma? Yeah. Whenever grandma woke up, they were so white. <laughs> you think they pop out of their face. Why would I look white? What do you mean? That's how dry you were. Add to it too. That's what I'm telling you. Outfit of the day. Hi guys. Please. Stop disturbing my vlog. They don't want to hear from me. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back. Did you miss us? So the tour at Old San Juan was so phenomenal. The company that took us is called The Spoon Experience. Really, really great. Our tour guide's name was Lorna and she did such an amazing job. She was so knowledgeable of the town. She showed us so many great pace places. Like they let you take some pictures. Like the stops were timed really well. And it exactly at four o'clock. It was a three hour tour, but it didn't feel like that. Of course it felt long, but we had like stops along the way where we were eating and drinking. So it didn't feel that bad, but I had a really, really great time. Took some great pictures. I like doing like fun stuff, but also cultural stuff. Cause it's like the stuff that you can remember when you leave. Like what did you learn about Puerto Rico? Um, the stuff about like pork being their main source of food, where it's coming from with the Spanish. And it was just so much like history. But now we're all ready for our farewell dinner. And I must say I look good. I'm glistening, I'm shining. I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty body butter today mixed with Brazilian bum oil and then I also put on like a highlighter dash some highlighter the, this is a dress that I got from pretty little thing oh this was supposed to be one of my outfits for Turks but my PLT package didn't come in time so I'm wearing it here it looks so so cute um, I didn't even know it had a slit I thought it was just a bodycon dress like a regular one so I love it even more paired it with a bunch of gold accessories and just looks so good my earrings are from pretty little thing as well bangles from plt my rings are from plt i'm trying to show you guys what my makeup looks like this is my makeup no lashes today but i'm still gonna try and take pictures i will fi cat lost my other lash so i couldn't wear it today but this is what fi cat's wearing Stop lying. Uh, white and gold. i'm not lying i came to the bathroom this morning and there was one lash i didn't see one lash there oh i saw you okay so it's <laughs> all right guys well we're about to go to dinner so i'll see you guys at our last dinner bye tonight at the hotel and it was actually really really good asian inspired restaurant and it was like hibachi style which, and i got some really really nice pictures too this dress is really really cute it's just this part is so long 
because I put it over my head wrong and I stretched it out. But I just want to say a huge thank you to Frontier, the Puerto Rico Tourism Board, for having us out here. It's been an amazing, amazing time. Like, I've loved every single thing that we've done. My favorite day is most definitely boat day and the horseback riding day. I feel like it's a tie. Boat day was really, really fun, but the horseback riding day, we did so much but i'm just like so happy to keep being invited into these spaces thank you guys so much for supporting me my channel my different platforms and everything like that so if you made it to this part of the vlog make sure you subscribe thumbs up leave me a comment tell me what you thought of this vlog and follow me on my other platforms maybe we'll like a picture go comment thank you i'm trying to grow more on tiktok so if you ever see me post a tiktok video please comment um i love you guys so much another spin for the outfit and will i talk to you guys in the morning no i don't think so i think i should wrap it up here right now we're just gonna like pack up our stuff they gave us some boxes so that we can like ship stuff back home they're gonna fedex it to us because they gave us a lot of goodies so we want to take them home i said are you gonna pack right now you said i'm packing my bags no i'm just putting my bags in here like my handbags and the rest i'll wake up early tomorrow tonight. i never know this girl what's so about? You don't know handbags? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Making you repeat, repeat over and over. Do you want to say bye to the box or not? Bye. I said you didn't put your bonnet on. No, I said you want to say bye. Oh. Ah, then this one's still talking about bags. Did you even properly introduce you in the first place? Oh wow. Are you that much taller than me? I what never were you knew. expecting? Scoop, I never knew. I have like height blindness. Like. Hi guys. You don't have to bend Bye down. Uh -uh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mm, so you don't hug me, but it's on camera. Yeah, I hey, you camera. Don't hug me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the Angry and Fight Cat show. Maybe we'll be coming to a city near you. I'm just gonna be a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a disastrous vlog. <laughs> Make sure you guys comment if you have any questions about anything we did, anything that I missed explaining, because I was having a good time. Like, I would feel like I wasn't really explaining things that well before we went and started doing them. So, okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>